We've talked about three things so far. We've talked about left-hand limits. We've talked about right-hand limits. We've also talked about general limits of f of x as x approaches a, which means x gets close to a from both sides. These three things are related, and this is how. The limit of f of x as x approaches a exists if and only if both the left and right-hand limits exist and are equal. If that's the case, the picture looks like that. As x approaches a from the left and x approaches a from the right, we end up with the same thing. And in this case, the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists because it's the same thing from both sides. If there's no plus or minus after the a, it means we have to consider both sides. This would be the picture if it doesn't work. We get one thing from the left, a different thing from the right. In this case, if we look at the general limit as x approaches a from both sides, it doesn't exist because it can't settle on one of the two things. Let's look at an example. Here's an example. Let's see if we can figure out if it's this case where the limit exists or this case when the limit does not exist. The example is a piecewise function. It's one thing if x is less than 2. It's a different thing if x is greater than or equal to 2. So to figure out which case we're in, we take the limit from the left and the limit from the right and see if they're the same. So let's take the limit from the left. x approaches 2 minus. That 2 minus means we consider x less than 2, so we use the x squared. And then we just plug in 2 for x, and we get 2 squared is equal to 4. So the limit from the left is 4. Now we take the limit from the right. We have a little plus sign to indicate that we're coming from the right. That means x is greater than 2, so we use x plus 3. And now we just plug in 2 into the x plus 3, and we get 5. But notice that 4 is not equal to 5. Since those two are not equal, that is not true. They're not equal to each other, so the limit doesn't exist. Maybe we have a little sad face in red, indicating we're on this side, and the limit doesn't exist. Let's look at another example. It's another piecewise function. It's one thing if x is less than 4, a different thing if x is greater than 4. It's not even defined if x is equal to 4, but that doesn't matter because when we take limits, we don't care about what happens when x is equal to 4. So again, we're going to evaluate the limit from the left and limit from the right, see if they're equal or not equal to see if it exists or does not exist. Take the limit as x approaches 4 from the left. That minus sign means we're coming from the left. x less than 4, we use this piece. So we take the limit as x approaches 4 of x minus 3. So we just plug in 4. Remember, we're not plugging in minus 4. That minus means from the left. We still plug in a positive 4. So 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Now we take the limit as we come from the right of g of x. And in this case, x is greater than 4 because we're coming from the right. So we take the limit as x approaches 4. We use this piece of x squared minus 15. We plug in 4. 4 squared minus 15 is 16 minus 15, which is 1. And in this case, these two ones are the same. That means since this one and this one are the same, the limit from the left and the limit from the right are equal. So the limit of as x approaches 4 of g of x is equal to 1. And that means that the limit exists. So maybe we have a little green smiley face to indicate we're in this case. So this is the relation between left and right-hand limits and general limits.